first book has been popular with readers for a while. It's called Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk. Kathleen, the author Kathleen Rooney is actually using two time periods for her story, uh, the early 1980s, which serves as a present in the novel, and the 1930s, which serves as a setting for our main character's memories. Uh, the story begins on New Year's Eve in New York City in 1984. Our main character, Lillian Boxfish, is 85 and decides to celebrate by going out for a long walk around the city. Like, why not? Uh, but of course, this doesn't come without a scolding from her son, 43, who is held up in Maine, who continuously nags her about the many ways New York City in the 1980s is unsafe for a woman Lillian's age. Uh, there's worry about subway vigilante, and in general, as Lillian puts it in her clever quips, uh, the city has become mean-spirited, a mean-spirited action movie complete with repulsive plot twists and preposterous dialogue. Nonetheless, she waves off his worries. She insists on living near her beloved Macy's, her first job and her source, the source of her success. Um, so the character of Lillian Boxfish is, Boxfish is actually a stand-in for the real life character of Margaret Fishback, a renowned poet, illustrator and ad woman for R.H. Macy's department store in the 1930s. Ms. Fishback revolutionized advertising and broke all kinds of barriers during a very difficult time for women in any industry. Not that today is very easy either though. Um, but so as Lillian walks amid her pit stops to a local neighborhood bar, which has just installed a TV, oh my gosh, her favorite restaurant that she visits every New Year's Eve, a fancy loft party in which she puts a well-to-do person in their place, a nightclub pouted populated with young, um, with young artists that equally dismiss and revere Lillian. We are treated to reminiscences of her life in New York and her successful career. But this story is not without pain. Lillian has had a loving husband and son. But there's a good deal of heartbreak in the story, much to illustrate the painful choices many women have to make, as well as the pain produced by choices inflicted upon them. So apart from the engaging plot, which is really fun to read um, as it bounces back and forth between the action and characters that populate the city on that night and those of 1926 and the intervening years. It is a sharp, insightful commentary from a woman so adept at using her words. Rooney really captures the spirit of the time and the figure of Miss Fishback. Most of the quips and lines that appear in the book are actual quotes of the work of Margaret Fishback, though many of the events are fictional and even some of the attitudes expressed by Lillian are imagined, but certainly fit well in the context of what research the author performed for the novel. And in that sense, the author has really been able to capture the time period by not focusing too aggressively on the real life events, um, on reproducing what already exists. She creates a figure around which the city um, in each period moves. And who doesn't love a story about New York City in any time period? Um, kept that off with a strangely humorous mugging scene and you have a pretty unforgettable story. So I'm just gonna leave you with that hook. <laughs>